In politics tonight, it was a bare knuckles brawl in Iowa as the GOP White House hopefuls all squared off in a nationally televised, no holds barred debate. Our Brandy Hitt is in the KTLA newsroom now to recap all of the fireworks in farmland tonight. Brandy, there was a lot of it. Oh boy, there were a lot of fireworks, Rick. First though, we want to take a look at the latest CNN poll so you can see where things stand. Mitt Romney is leading the pack with 17%, followed by Governor Rick Perry. Then you have Rudy Giuliani and Sarah Palin who haven't even declared if they're running for president yet, followed by Ron Paul. These were the top leaders going into tonight's big Iowa debate, and boy, did the gloves come off. It didn't take long for things to get ugly between the Republican candidates in the Fox News Iowa debate. Is she unqualified? The first exchange was between Michelle Bachman and Tim Pawlenty. In Congress, her record of accomplishment and results is non-existent. You said the era of small government was over. That sounds a lot more like Barack Obama, if you ask me. She said she's got a titanium spine. It's not her spine we're worried about. It's her record of results. If that's your view of effective leadership with results, please stop because you're killing us. There was even tension between the Fox News moderators and Newt Gingrich. How do you respond to people who say that your campaign has been a mess so far? I wish you would put aside the gotcha questions. I'd love to see the rest of tonight's debate asking us about what we would do to lead an America whose president has failed to lead instead of playing Mickey Mouse games. If you think questions about your records are Mickey Mouse, I'm sorry. The main topic addressed was how the candidates would have handled the debt ceiling. I signed a pledge saying I would not raise the debt ceiling unless we had cut, cap, and balance. You liquidate debt. You don't bail out the people that are bankrupt and dump the debt on the people. And how they will create jobs. As governor of the state of Utah, we took a good state and we made it number one in this country in terms of job creation. But before the debate even began, there were a couple of surprises. Sarah Palin's bus tour is back. She's crashing the presidential party in, where else? Iowa. Then this game changer came from Texas Governor Rick Perry. We'll have an announcement uh, to give our intentions of what uh, our, our future holds. After weeks on the sidelines, Perry's expected to jump into the race Saturday. The candidates were asked how they feel about that. I'm very pleased that he's coming in because uh, he represents the status quo. That's just one more politician, and that makes this business problem solver stand out that much more. <laughs> So that's the debate, but did you see this earlier in the day when Mitt Romney was confronted by a man who was very angry at pro proposed cuts to Social Security? Take a look. Sir, I'm on Social Security. Yes, I'm glad you're on Social yeah. Security. Hold on, 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 hold